Hey everyone, it's Luke here in the Efteling Hotel doing a room tour of a comfort room today. We're in room 208. Uh, Louise is in the room. Got a key card here, just hold it up to the fob like so. It lights up blue and you can open it. And a nice feature on this door, if the door isn't shut, like that. Oh, it's not going to do it. There you go. It sets a little alarm off just to let you know that the door isn't shut properly. These rooms are very plush. This is a four star hotel. And when you first come in, you'll notice that it's very blue, very happy. Louise is on the bed. Say hi. hi. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, let's go into this room starting from over here. We have a um, family room. We did just get a double and they've upped it to a family room. Um, I don't know, just because there's more space. There's only 16 rooms to a floor. I think this hotel only has 128 rooms, which is tiny as hotels go. So we have one large double bed here. Uh, would you say that's a queen size bed? It's certainly a large double bed. It is large because else. we end up sleeping like, you know, really like far away. or over in one corner of it, which is funny. Um, the family rooms have a bunk bed for kids. It is extremely sturdy and they're full length. So I don't you... like, wait, 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 can I just say? Sorry for cutting. No, no, that's right. The ladder. We had a go on it, which yeah. we probably shouldn't have. Yeah, in all fairness, you could get an adult up here, but this ladder is in a really awkward position, even for a child. Like, it's right in the corner and there's a curtain, but it's a full length bed. It's not like a little five foot tall bed. Uh, and I've laid up there and it doesn't creak or crack or nothing. It's actually really, it's really well built, this bed. So you've got that. And then down here, you can pull out a, like a, a little single bed here, which wouldn't be suitable for an adult because... <laughs> yes. There we go, it's under there and there's a mattress down there. So that pulls out. So you could sleep five people in this room, which is, is quite good. Pillows are huge here. Comfy so well. yeah, they're comfy. Um, you can, it says here, this bit of paper on the back, it says uh, you can change a pillow to a memory foam, allergy free, down or uh, pressure reducing so you can change your pillows you just have to contact the reception uh, that brings me onto the phone which is over here bear with me this place is lived in we have lived in it for a day so it's a little bit cluttered so there's your phone there's a message which is in reverse but if you look in the mirror it's not in reverse but unfortunately I don't speak any Dutch really so if you speak Dutch you can translate that and put it in the comments for me that would be very helpful um, you've got a nice large mirror which actually opens up and behind which is your TV, which TV is good, has good selection of channels. Quite small. Yes, yeah, it is quite small. It's uh, smaller than maybe some hotels, but you've got a good selection of channels, English, German, French, all, all the languages, which is very good. Uh, we're on the second floor, the view from here. We've got a front view, um, which was of the main road. Um, can't hear any traffic from here, which is great, you know. Uh, it's probably the only downside to this hotel though, is positioning. The, ho the park and everything is so beautiful and then you just have the hotel on the side of the road like, you know, it's a bit of a let down but hey ho, it's not a problem. Down there is the bar immediately below us and the restaurant would be round the corner. Anyway, for the kids, there is a game down here. We played it, so not for the kids, yeah, yeah, not just for the kids. It's got it's got like a, it's you know roll the dice and go round, and then the little game card here where you if you land on it, you read the rules, and you have to do something. Like for example, there's one where it's like you got to go to the closet and or under the bed to find some Why shoes. Did you say closet. Because that's what it says on the piece of paper. The cupboard closet. then. Anyway, there are the shoes that you have to find. They're stuck down, and uh, yeah. But one of them actually says that there's a mouse in the room, like a little figure mouse. Me and Louise can't find it. It said under the bed, in the closet, and it's like, can't oh, find it. We can't find it anywhere, so... And we, we've looked, and this game is for kids, so the fact that we can't find it is quite disturbing, because I thought it was behind the bed, given what I'd seen in pictures online of this hotel, and it's not there, so I'm wondering if someone has stolen it. Right, anyway, moving on. We have chairs, we have a pair of your makeup. Uh, there is a drawer here, which pulls out. And there's a Bible in there, as with all hotels. Uh, moving on to the wardrobe and cupboard. Got a big mirror on the front. Plenty of room in. They do have some hangers. Spare pillow up there, as Louise said. Uh, there's a bag here for your laundry. Oh, I'm throwing it on the floor. So you can get your laundry done here. And uh, this is the laundry service with like your prices and all that. There is also a safe here, which you set very simply. You type in 
code and press the hashtag and that will set it you just do that to lock it and then that's your code you just type in the code and then press the hashtag or oh, type in the code and it will unlock you don't have to press the hashtag it's only when you're locking it through here you've got like a seating area or you could put your coats and stuff here so hang them from up there here is to put your shoes which is very nice it's quite spacious around here uh, unlike some hotels you can get around both sides of the um bunk bed which is rather nice there is a floating table I imagine this is on purpose, but it's there. Okay, so the kids can use that. <laughs> yeah. Each of the rooms have aircon, which is very nice. Um, it's very effective aircon. If you have it on cold, it will get freezing in the room. When we got here, the aircon was on 16 degrees in here, and it was like a refrigerator, really. Anyway, moving on into the toilet. Again, bear with us, you know, we've been living in here. It's been cleaned. So you've got a nice large sink, which is always good. Um, there is hand soap and there is shampoo and shower gel in here. Uh, I spent ages trying to work out how these things work. You just squeeze the bottle. There's no like uh, thing on the bottom, which is always, you know, good fun when I couldn't find it. Toilet. <laughs> uh, you've got a hair dryer in here, similar to the ones at Disneyland Paris. It's pretty weak from what Louise has told me. It just magnetically sits up there like so. How would you rate the hairdryer, Louise, seeing as you've used it? Like a breath on my hair. Okay, so, but it does the job if you don't have it. Yeah, but I don't always fully dry my hair anyway, so it was pretty wet when I left, but it doesn't bother me because I had breakfast that dried during then. Yeah. A nice little emblem up there. It all looks really nice, but then there's just like the little covers have fallen out from here. So you see the screws, which is a little bit sad, but it's me being a perfectionist for you. Anyway, back to the lavatory. Yeah, get back in the box. You know, the toilet is like your standard toilet in a hotel. It'll flush anything. It's nearly impossible to block. The showers are incredibly powerful in this place and they sit on the wall like so. I can actually show you the shower. Like, you turn it on with the right hand one. And they are super powerful showers, um, which is good. And the heating is really good on it as well, which is like, I know you go to some hotels and they can be a little bit pathetic, you know, like they go hot, they go cold. Um, one other thing you've got your, um, you've got your, your clothes dry now, which you just put over to the other side and match on. Um, so if you need to dry any clothes. Um, comes with towels in the room, as you would expect. I don't think I've ever been to a hotel that doesn't have towels. And if you are in a hotel, yeah, they are very small. There's no like big bath towels. Back to the bedroom. Uh, you got a chair. Uh, you got a bedside table, which it's really strange because they've obviously moved the beds about in here, or they've set them up for a two double bed setup. But it sits really far away from the edge of the table. Yeah, you can't reach it when you're in bed easily. Yeah. Like if you had a glass of water in the yeah. side. Yeah. Like this one's not too bad because it's not fixed, but you kind of block all the switches down here. There is a socket near the bed as well, which either is good. Side. Yeah, either side. There's a socket under here as well, but they've both got lamps plugged into them. So if you want the lamp, you need to unplug them. My one doesn't open. This one is another floating table. It doesn't open that one. Uh, it doesn't open or move. And like Louise said, they're a bit... They're a bit, that one's a bit close to the wall because like it hides behind the head to border the bed. Being a bit picky, but it's Look, just like last night I was trying to find that water. It was yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> but I think that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope this room tour was helpful to you, and I hope it helps your booking for the Efteling. And I'll see you in the next video. Whatever I choose to make, so don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe. And ciao for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.